hello guys in today's video we are going to update you on the ghana versus brazil match players that could possibly miss um, that match and also how ghana can beat brazil on the 23rd of september my name is adam welcome back to sports corner gh don't forget to like this video subscribe and also don't forget to leave your comment sports corner is a sports opinion based channel so don't forget to leave your comments at the end of this video let's jump into the details together um, so, Hull City have confirmed that Ghana forward Benjamin Tete would be out for weeks after picking an injury during their game against Sheffield United. So, the Black Star striker, who was recently added to and the squad for September friendlies, was forced off after 14 minutes in an English Championship game due to a knock. Also, um, the Hull City manager, Shota, also spoke about Benjamin Tete's injury and he said, and I quote, It is difficult to say how many ways. It could be four or it could be six. It all depends on how he reacts. We will see during the process how quickly he recovers. We are going to do our best and see how it goes. So um, this is what the coach said and this means that Benjamin Tete would miss Ghana's international friendlies against Brazil and also against Nicaragua um, in this month. Coach Otuado named him in his squad for September. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section. We are losing a player due to um, injuries. We also have some other players who are on injury and could not actually feature in the friendlies. So don't forget to also leave your comment down there. Now let's move on to um, our next topic for today. In the last video I did, uh, I predicted that Ghana might lose the match against um, Brazil either by 2-0 or 3-0 and most of you said I was concluding, I was just predicting, I didn't conclude. But since football is a game of chance, this is my opinion on why and how Ghana can actually beat Brazil. So looking at Brazil's squad list that was released, um, the goalkeeping department looks quite strong. Um, let's move on to the defense department, which I think Ghana could exploit. Looking at players such as Marquinhos, Thiago Silva, and then Adam Letao. These players are old and might actually start that game against Ghana. And then looking at Ghana's PC wingers, I think we could be of a greater advantage when we catch brazil on the counter attack honestly i feel like brazil is going to win possession in that game so uh, the best bet is actually hit them on the counter and looking at their defensive line which i think could um, feature marquinos tiago silva and probably Eda Miltao, we could have an advantage or a good run with that defense so looking at Brazil's midfield, it outweighs um, Coach Otuado's midfield he picked for September friendlies. Reason being that most of the midfielders Coach Otuado picked are players that actually join um, the attackers. It's only Baba Idrisu and then Thomas Partey and probably Elisha Usu who actually join and defend most at times. But Elisha Usu is on injury. Baba Idrisu is also on injury. Thomas Partey is also on injury who is possibly set to return very soon. So I feel like in the midfield brazil would outweigh us there so um let's look at brazil's forward line brazil's strength actually lies in their forward line i mean they have cluster of superstar players there but however i believe that ghana's strength also lies in their defense looking at our defense we have experienced defenders and who are capable of actually handling this brazilian forward so this is some of the reasons why i think ghana could actually beat brazil especially when we allow them have most of the ball and then hit them on the counter so ghana playing a three back would actually help with the likes of jiku amate and then salisu and then we could have the full backs actually going and joining the attackers when we have a counter and also falling back and making the back line five when we are defending so this is why and how i think ghana can beat brazil so as i said earlier sports corner is an opinion based channel you can also drop your opinions in the comment section don't forget to like this video my name is adam thank you for watching sports corner